Well, good morning, y'all. How you doing today? Okay, it is... What is today's date? Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Tuesday, November the 29th. And it's 6.59 and I just got to town. Now, I got up this morning and I said, you know, I'm going to go work on my mower and go ahead and finish getting the starter on because I got about five jobs I need to do today. But man, it's cold. I looked outside and there's frost and it's below 40 degrees. And I said, nah, uh I ain't doing that. I'm going to go shopping. So here I am. I've got a Kroger order already. I'm going to go shop it. And I'm going to work about half my day in shopping. That way I can stay in the warm. Now, people might be saying, Wesley, you're just a big old wimp. Well, yeah, but now it has not always been that way. When I was eight years old, I aggravated my dad to death to let me get up and go out and get the cows up with my brother in the morning at two o'clock in the morning in Ohio, northern Ohio. And it was cold. So finally he got finished, he got tired of me aggravating him. And the very first morning, I see my brother, he was, he was 12 and I was eight. So the very first, first morning I got up, I thought, uh, uh, I done made a mistake. But I got up, of course, I didn't have a choice because once you do that, I mean, dad was a firm man. You made your bed, you're going to lie in it. So, I went out there, and I got the cows up, and it was dark, and I was in crap, and I thought, oh, man. And I was always worried one of them cows was going to run me over because they was way bigger than me. Not only that, was there was a big old manure pit, and if I slipped, I'd slide right into it. So I thought, well... Okay, just going to do this. And it was dark, man. We went out in the field and got those cows. It was terrible. However, and I left home at 16. Long story behind that, but I kind of didn't have a choice. But anyways, point of this story was I can. I can endure the cold. I can do things, but... I don't want to. I remember one morning we had to pitch out silage from the silo to feed a hundred cows twice a day. We'd pitch it out of the silo and then we'd go down and we'd pitch it in wheelbarrows and then fill the bunk up for the cows. And it usually took about 125 wheelbarrows. So it's a pretty good job. Anyhow, enough of that story. I'm going to go in here and do this Instacart shop and get that part of the morning. It's still nice and warm in my car. Oh, by the way, well, thank you all. Thousand subscribers. Big time. <laughs> took over three years, but we're there. I want to thank you. Really appreciate y'all. And I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, I'm on my way to drop off the second order. This is actually a two-order um, shop. So I'm dropping off the second one. Now, the first one... They said, make sure that you meet the customer. Well, I text the customer. I ring the doorbell. I waited. As you all can see, they never showed up. Now, what? They want you to wait about 10 minutes. And then if nobody contacts you, they want you to take the stuff back to the store. And you get, that's all a big fat pain. Almost every single order reads like this. So... I just take my chances, I drop it off, I said delivered. 
No, I didn't meet the customer. The customer never comes around. Most of the time, these people will not respond for whatever reason. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to go drop off this next order. And then I'm going to try to get an order going back toward the house because the sun is up and it's high and it's warming up nicely. And I would think by noon, well, maybe 11-ish, I'm hoping it'll be decent enough to go outside and fix my mower and go out and get a couple yards done. I've got one really big yard I got to do, so. Anyways, we'll see what goes on. Y'all stick with us here. Well, I tried my best to contact that person. They have ice cream there. You know, uh, I called twice. I texted. I knocked twice. I rung the doorbell. What are you to do? So we're just going to call it done. Well, it is 9 o'clock in the a.m., and it's 35 degrees. Don't look like I'm going to be able to get a, a run home unless I want to sit around and wait for a few minutes. But I got a lot to do today. I have not paid my bills this month. Um, I got to fix the mower starter. So I got a lot I can do today. So I'm going to head to the house and... Um, Go ahead and get some more things done. I've, I've been running pretty hard. And I'm tired. Of course, I'm not going to quit running. I got other things to do. So anyhow, um, with as quickly as it's warming up, because like I said, 35 degrees right now. And as bright as that sun is, uh, by the time I go home and get my bills out of the way and everything, uh, I'm going to... It's going to be warm enough to go outside. And the thing of it is, if it's 45 degrees in the next hour and a half, might be warmer than that. But I'd say it's going to be at least 45, surely. But even now, at 35 degrees, the wind's not blowing and the sun is beaming. So it's really not so bad to be outside right now. So we're going to go to the house. And um, we'll see how much it warms up between now and the next hour and a half, two hours. I'll see y'all then. Okay, it's warmed up some now, and I'm attempting to take off this starter on my mower. Let me turn around and show you. Right here. I've looked for videos on YouTube. No good videos to uh, give me an aid to help me do this. But I, I have gotten all the bolts loose on this thing that I can figure. But it looks like this part up here is stopping me. So I'm going to have to take it off. Okay, I took all the wires loose from, from the uh, starter. I thought this was connected to the starter. Yeah, I think it did. Maybe it didn't. I probably took some stuff off that I didn't have to. But I had to take all the bolts off around the starter. Finally got this, this loose right here. Alright, I got it off. Alright, now I took pictures before I took anything apart. So I wouldn't mess up. Now... I still can't see where the starter, I can't find the starter bolt that's holding on there. Huh. I don't understand this. Oh yeah, there it is. Now I don't know if that's, that's not holding the starter on there. What's 
holding the starter on there. Huh. Okay, you guys. You see, I did all this crap right here for nothing. Did all this for nothing. And so I was thinking, why is that starter not coming out of there? I'm sure I took the bolts off. I took, I did indeed take the bolts off that needed to come off. This one and this one. Two bolts. Okay? It wouldn't come out. I mean, I was struggling. And I finally said, well, heck with this. Before I go to pulling that flywheel off and doing all that other stuff, I'm going to hit it with a hammer. Now, I did hit it lightly with a hammer. And wah wah. Hit it lightly, right? I tapped it lightly right there on the top with a hammer after I took them two bolts out. And it came out. I did all that other work for nothing. So you all, hopefully y'all don't have to go through this. Because you can watch this and know that, hey, you don't have to take all the cover off. The flywheel cover, all that kind of junk. You take the bolts off. You unhook everything, of course, your battery terminal and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, so you don't get all blown up and shocked. And I did take pictures. But anyways, uh, then just take the bolts off and hit it in the head. Now I got all my... Nuts and bolts and all that stuff down there in this bucket. Yeah, make sure you don't lose, lose none of your nuts and bolts and stuff. Okay, now I had a, uh, I actually had a 25 horsepower Kawasaki. The engine messed up and it's only about three months old. That's another story. So I'm going to go down and look for it. Now, I, I, I'm told you can change these solenoids over here, but since I already have the whole starter, I'm not going to be worrying about changing anything. I am going to keep this starter, and I'm going to rebuild it. Uh, the solenoid, the way they talk, is just the solenoid. But right now, I'm going to go see if I can find the one that, that was on the other mower many years ago that I had and see if it'll match up. Okay, you guys, here's the other starter I had, and it is not the same. See that housing? But this looks to be the same. It really does. I mean, here, let's just turn them both up. I believe that is the, and that's the solenoid. So I'm going to change that out and see if that will fix it. I think it will. Well, 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 here we are again. Didn't get my starter fixed. Mariah had to go get some stuff where she bought where. Is there a standard? Let me put my hat on. When I'm not mowing, I wear this hat because I look good. Don't I look good? Guys, put your women away. Don't let them watch the TV Azure, now. Azure standard is uh, a bolt. This is where Mariah gets her goodies. Y'all go on that webpage, you might like it. Honestly, uh, the butters and stuff like that, they're pretty reasonable, and the cheese, cheaper than you can get in the store. Some of their things, it's all organic. Some food. of it. But it makes Mariah happy, so I'm all for it. I picked up uh, butter. I really like their European butter. And it's... Uh, yeah, heck with that American butter. Well, I like it because it's got a nice taste to it. it had, you know how when you melt butter, sometimes you'll see water in it? This butter does not do that. It's nice and creamy. Then I got some cheese, molasses, olive oil, um, honey and some cilantro. Well, y'all can see I'm sitting on the mower. Will it start? I haven't tried it. I'm kind of scared. I had it all to pieces. Well, let's find out. It's almost dark, so if it don't start, I can't work on it no more than that. Whoa. 
It's clicking like clicking like the battery dead. Huh. We'll see if the battery dead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to boost it. Sorry it didn't start. I was hoping for a good ending to this video, but it's starting to sprinkle on me, and it's dark, so another day. Does it kind of bother me? Maybe a little bit. Not too much. It is what it is.